Okay, can you, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, so so uh, uh, hello everyone. So my name is Yoshihiko Hasegawa, and my today's talk is about uh, thermodynamic uncertainty relation for open quantum system. So uh, so my today's talk is not about the fluctuation theorem uh, thermodynamic uncertainty relation. So uh, okay, so let me start. So. As Takahiro introduced, uh, thermodynamic uncertainty relation, TUR for short, is a relation about the fluctuation of current and entropy production. And as uh, uh, Takahiro uh, introduced, many of the TUR are study, were studied for a classical Markov chain. And recently, quantum extension of TUR have been studied. Uh, still, quantum TUR are in a early stage compared to classical systems. Uh, many of the quantum case studies obtain case by case bound. So, uh, in this presentation, I present a type of quantum TR valid for general open quantum dynamics. So uh, let me start my explanation. So my model consider this simple uh, open quantum systems. So the, okay. So, uh, so here, S denotes a principal system, and E is the environment, and assumes that the environment is spanned by uh, this basis. And from T equals zero, uh, this S and E undergoes a unitary dynamics uh, represented by this U. And after the interaction, we measure the environment by uh, this measurement operators. And after the interaction, the composite system is given by uh, this equation. And by in introducing uh, operators given by this one, uh, this is a Krauss operator. And we can show that uh, after, uh, unitary, after the unitary dynamics, the composite system is given by this one. And if we take the trace over the environment, the principal system is given by this one. And this is a Krauss representation of the dynamics. And as I said, af after the interaction, we measure the environment by uh, these operators. And in this case, uh, GM is uh, some uh, real function. And I assume that, that this real function satisfy this condition. So, and as long as this condition is met, GM can return any real number. So uh, this condition can be considered as a re minimal requirement for uh, counting observable. So let me consider a simple example for a photon counting case. Uh, for the uh, continuous measurement of photon counting case, the photon is emitted from the principal system, the environment, and we measure the environment after the interactions. And in that case, and if, so, this zero corresponds to the uh, environment state after the interaction is zero. So when the state of the environment after the interaction is zero, the environment remains unchanged before and after the interactions. And the continuous measurement of the photon counting case, uh, no change in the environment corresponds to no photon emission into the environment. So if we consider a counting observable, this uh, condition can be naturally satisfied. So uh, this, I think that this is a minimum requirement for the counting observable. And by using uh, quantum estimation theory, I can show that uh, this GM satisfy this kind of uh, thermodynamic uncertainty relation. A derivation will be shown in, at the end of my talk. And here, uh, GM is at variance and this is average. And this psi is defined by this quantity. And this V0 is a uh, Krauss operator corresponding to jump from zero environment state to zero environment state. And this, uh, as I will show, this, this side corresponds to the dynamical activity in classical Markov processes. And uh, I want to emphasize that this, this relation holds for any open quantum system as long as this part is positive definite because uh, we have to calculate the inverse this part should be positive definite. And any observable GM with uh, this condition. So I can say any counting type observable can be used. 
and any initial density operators rho in S. So uh, this row can be either a pure state or mixed state. And I shows a, a application of the, this bound. So I apply this uh, bound for to the continuous measurement. So let me let us consider uh, this kind of Lindbergh equation. Uh, Lindbergh equation is given by uh, this equation. Rho is the density operators Hamiltonian, and L C is a uh, jump operator. And it is known that the, the Lindbergh equation renders the dynamics when we do not measure the environment. So when we measure the environment, the Lindbergh equation is unravelled to yield a stochastic dynamics condition on the measurement records. And uh, such stochastic dyna uh, dynamics is called the quantum trajectory. And quantum trajectory is described by a stochastic Schrodinger equation. Uh, this is a, a stochastic Schrodinger equation, but uh, this detailed form is not uh, important here. So this is an example of quantum trajectories. And this is a DN corresponds to the uh, measurement records. And so this uh, red line represents that at this point, we measure uh, the some something, uh, for instance, photon, for instance, for instance. And when we measure the photon here, due to the back action, the uh, density matrix goes to the ground state, for example. So given these measurement records, we can obtain this kind of uh, stochastic uh, quantum trajectories. And we, uh, if we average over all the possible measurements, we uh, reproduce uh, average uh, density dynamics of density matrix. And this density matrix is described by the original uh, Lindbergh equation. And because uh, this kind of con uh, quantum trajectory can be uh, cast to this kind of simple open quantum system. So uh, the continuous measurement can be, uh, so my results can be applied to the continuous measurements. So, so in, in order to change uh, this model to, uh, in order to change a continuous measurement to this kind of simple models, uh, we, div we divide the interval to the equipartition intervals and assume that environmental orthogonal basis are uh, given by this one. And during these time intervals, uh, main principal system interact with uh, uh, M subspace of environment and here uh, interact with here and here and interact with here. And if we uh, make uh, n into the infinity, then the continuous measurement can be dis uh, recovered. And one time step evolution of the density matrix is uh, given by uh, this cross representation. And here, x0 and xc corresponds to, uh, x0 cor corresponds to no detection of events. So, so for the case of photon counting case, th this means that no photon during this time period. And X, XC corresponds to the detection of this event. And for the case of photon counting case, uh, this means that uh, during this time interval, uh, uh, the photon is emitted into the environment. And as I said in the uh, previous slide, this V0 is uh, defined by this one. So this corresponds to no jump events during zero to T. So uh, this V0 is given by uh, this simple uh, representation. And by using the Trotta product formula, uh, this uh, V0 can be explicitly uh, written here. And assume that observable is a counting type of obser observable. So as I said in the previous slides, uh, the counting type observable naturally satisfies this condition. So the uh, quantum TUR becomes this equation. And this uh, equation, uh, this relation holds for any lean blood type dynamics and for any initial density operators. However, uh, we have to uh, assume that the H and LC does not depend on time because uh, when H and LC depends on time, we cannot use Trotta product formula. And let me explain the effect of quant quantumness in uh, this equation. So uh, when we emulate the classical Markov processes with a Lindblad equation, uh, this relation holds. So uh, assume that uh, this relation holds, then this psi uh, reduces to this psi CO and it is given by this equation. And 
when we assume that the, this t is very small, then the, this xi and xi zero is uh, related by this equation. And here, this uh, chi is defined by this equation. So this is an average of computation relation between Hamiltonian and jump operators. So when this chi is larger than zero, the system gains a precision enhancement due to the quantumness. And for a particular model, this chi corresponds to non-diagonal elements in the density operators. And also, uh, we can see the effect of measurement on, on the precision. Because it is known that Lindblad equation is invariant under this transformation. Uh, here, uh, this zeta is an uh, arbitrary complex parameter. And uh, when we replace Hamiltonian with uh, this Hamiltonian and uh, this L with this L, we, we can obtain different quantum trajectory. So this figure shows an example of quantum trajectories for different type of zeta. So this is a zeta zero case, and this is a zeta one case. And we can see that the trajectories are uh, very different for these two cases. However, when we average over the, over the uh, uh, measurement records, we have the same dynamics on average. And this different data corresponds to the different continuous measurement. And under this transformation, uh, this xi is given by this one. So if we uh, let, if, uh, if we make uh, this data part goes to very large, then uh, this xi scales uh, this one. So the, the lower bound of quantum TR can be arbitrarily small by employing a continuous measurement with large theta. So uh, this may be uh, related to the heat engine driven by uh, measurement. It is known that it is possible to extract work from a single reservoir without feedback. So measurements can be a thermodynamic resources. And if we assume that um, classical Markov chains, we can obtain more simpler equations. So for classical Markov processes with transition rate uh, given by gamma, uh, this is rate from I, I to J, and with the initial probability distribution PI, this psi part becomes this one. And note that this relation holds for any time dependent Markov chains. And for when this T is very small, uh, this psi part reduces to uh, this representation. And this representation is exactly identical to dynamical activity in classical Markov processes. And dynamical activity plays important roles in classical Markov processes, uh, speed limit, uh, yesterday's talk, and uh, classical thermodynamic uncertainty relationship. So this is a numerical verification. Uh, this figure shows, uh, uh, in this figure, uh, this red dot is a random random computer simulation. And this blue line represents a lower bound. And because this is a log log plot, it is given by a straight line. And this case is, uh, I randomly generated the Krauss, or Krauss matrix and randomly generating this GM. And this case is a continuous measurement in two level atom driven by laser field. And observable is a number of emitted photon. And uh, this case is, uh, quantum walk case. So due to the time limitation, I won't explain the detail of uh, this model as uh, bound is satisfied. And this case is identical to this one, but uh, the points are plotted as a function of Xi CL. So this Xi CL is, uh, ignores the non-commutativeness between Hamiltonian and jump operators. And as can be seen, some points are lower than this bound. So this indicated that uh, uh, non-commutativeness between Hamiltonian and uh, jump operators increases the precision. So uh, finally, I want to explain the derivation. So my derivation is based on quantum Cramer-Rao bound. So this is a quantum Cramer-Rao uh, inequality. And this equality is about the bound for the quantum estimation of parameters. So a typical scenario you know, is the, like this one. So it first, we first uh, prepare some initial states. So typically it is a pure state and we let the pure state 
time evolve under some dynamics and typically it is unitary and uh, you, this unitary matrix is parameterized by some theta and this theta is a parameter which we want to estimate and we obtain final states and after uh, getting final states we measure with some uh, operators and after getting some information about the measurement we calculate the uh, uh, calculation we perform calculation with classical computers and this uh, bound shows that uh, we cannot go below this, uh, the variance of the parameters cannot go below this bound. Here, FQ is a quantum fissure information. And uh, this is a more general general type of quantum fissure, uh, quantum chromium bound, but uh, essentially the same. And quantum chromium bound has been applied to obtain many a quantum uncertainty relations, uh, for instance, robot uncertainty relation and quantum speed limit. And classical Cromwell-Long equality has been applied to obtain classical thermodynamic uncertainty relations. Uh, however, uh, compared to classical case, it is much harder to find quantum fissure information than in classical cases. So this is uh, a representation, some representation of quantum fissure information. Uh, if we can specify the measurement, so here M is a P of Vm, some P of Vm, then uh, we obtain the classical probability. So uh, we can apply the classical uh, qu uh, quantum Kramer Rao bound. So uh, this Fc corresponds to classical fissure information. And quantum fissure information is maximized over all possible uh, measurement. So the quantum Kramer Rao inequality is satisfied for any quantum measurements. And it is known that quantum fissure information can be calculated by uh, this simple equation, where L is known as a symmetric logarithm derivative. However, in general, uh, it is very difficult to calculate this uh, L. So uh, I use the upper bound on the quantum fissure information. Uh, this uh, Nature Physics paper obtained the upper bound to the quantum fissure information. They consider this kind of dynamics. So first, prepare the initial states, and the uh, dynamics is given by this Krauss dynamics, and this VM is a Krauss operator, and this theta, uh, this VM is parameterized by some parameter, a theta, uh, which we want to estimate. And after the uh, uh, Krauss dynamics, we obtain the, these final states, and after obtaining this one, we apply measurement. And, uh, this paper shows that uh, in this case, quantum fissure information is upper bound by this representation. And here H1 and H2 can be uh, expressed as a VM. So uh, to derive the main result, uh, let us consider that this kind of parameterization. So assume that this VM is parameterized by uh, this equation. And note says uh, this m should range from one to m minus one, not from zero, because uh, this vm has to satisfy the completeness relationship. This one, so this v zero cannot freely selected, cannot be freely selected, and uh, from this equation, uh, any v zero theta satisfying the completeness relation can be represented by this equation. So uh, this, this one is just uh, derived from this equation. But uh, we have to introduce some uh, unitary operator y. Uh, this, so if we can properly choose this y, any v0 satisfying this completeness relation can be uh, represented. And substituting this uh, representation into the, this uh, upper bound of the quantum feature information, uh, many terms disappears and the upper bound becomes very simple equation. And we next evaluate this part in quantum Kramer Rao inequality. So we have assumed that, that this condition, a complicated scaling dependence of V0 on theta can be ignored. So average of this part is given by this one. However, because the B, uh, B0, uh, this, uh, this part vanishes, this is assumption, so the, uh, the summation can be from one to m minus one. And as I as, as assume, this part is very simple. 
So the, this expectation can be ex calculated as follows. So by uh, substituting this one and this one into the original quantum Kramer law inequality, uh, this one, uh, the main result can be reached. So uh, this is the final result. So the main result also holds for any initial mixed state through the purification. So my previous uh, explanation, uh, assuming the initial state is pure, but uh, it is very easy to generalize the dissipation to the initially mixed state case. So uh, this is my uh, conclusion. So uh, TUR in open quantum system is obtained. And so I use a joint unitary evolution on principle and environment systems. And observable is projective measurement on the environment. And the observable is counting type observable. And thermodynamic cost is not entropy production, but the quantum analog of dynamical activity. And I show that the effect of quantumness on precision and measurements can improve the precision and non-commutativeness between Hamiltonian and uh, jump operator can improve the precision. So uh, this is my end of my question. Uh, uh, this is my end of my talk. So thank you very much. <laughs>